Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. As you've seen from the title, we are making over this space that I like to call my dining nook. So I'm really excited because it's been the way it is since I moved in. And I just was kind of feeling drained creatively. I wasn't sure what to really do with the space since really it's not a whole dining room. It's just a nook in my apartment. So after taking my time to think and plan it out in my little mood board, I came up with the idea to create a gallery wall and that is basically the foundation for this entire makeover. So I'm so excited to be partnering with Desenio for this video. They kindly gifted me a few prints and frames and they just arrived today so I cannot wait to open up the box and we're gonna do it together. Before we get started with that though, I do wanna quickly show you what the space currently looks like so that you can see how it transforms throughout the video. So like I said, I don't have too much room to work with since this actually leads you to my living room space, but we currently have a small round bistro table and then these two barrel chairs, which are very big, but I like them in the space. And then here we have a print that is also from Desenio, but I'm feeling like this lone art print is kind of lonely and I also think it looks a little dark and I want to kind of liven it up a bit. So I will show you guys what I have for my mood board. As you can see, I picked out a few prints from Desenio and I've kind of tried to arrange them in the way that I assume they will fit on the wall. I haven't actually measured it out yet. So this is all just pre-planning and seeing if I like the styles. So I did actually place an order for all of these prints and I've also added a nice pendant lamp because I think that could really help to ground the space and make it feel like its own room. Now, if you aren't aware, Decenio offers trendy, high-quality Scandinavian prints and frames and updates its collection regularly. They have something for everyone and every style, and they ship to countries worldwide and also have a warehouse right here in the U.S. Decenio has its own in-house design team working to bring you unique and trendy designs that you can only find exclusively with them. So definitely be sure to check out their latest print collection. I know you're gonna love them. The prints are here, you guys. I cannot wait to get this box open to see what they actually look like in person. So let's get right to it. All right, so we have got the frames first, it looks like. I basically picked out that one center art piece, which is really big, and then the rest of the frames are all the same size. Oh no, you guys. I just turned it around and it looks like I got the wrong piece. <laughs> okay, we may not be able to start this today, but I will show you the rest of the prints. Okay, this is one of them. I love this. Oh, it's so good, the pears. And since it's a dining nook, I thought it would be nice to have some food incorporated. I also got these lemons. It adds a touch of color too, which I love. These are beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this. How romantic is that? I love it. And then this one here is super abstract and I thought it looked beautiful as well. And then the last picture I got is this nice arch. So we'll see if I end up using them all. I will have to get a replacement for the big piece because this is not the one that I ordered, but no big deal. Let's check out the rest of the frames. Okay, so you can see I got one wooden one. I thought the wood might look really nice, but then I got the rest in black because I wanted to do the gallery wall. So I figured for a gallery wall, it's kind of nice if all of the frames match, but I thought I just wanted to see what a wooden one would look like. What we can do right now is start putting these in the frames to see how that looks. And then since I already have this huge art print, which is the exact same size of the new one, I am just gonna basically place these frames around it. And then when I get the new print, I could always just replace the art that's in here and then add it to that frame. So let's go ahead and start putting these in the picture frames. I can't wait to see how they're gonna look on the wall. And I'm really excited about that. So here we go. Okay. 
Okay, the pictures are now all in their frame, so we are ready to get hanging. I'm gonna start with this pear picture. And because I have this switch cover here, I'm gonna try to do it slightly over it. I think around here is good. So we've got some nails here and then also the hammer. And I think I'm just gonna mark the spot here and go to town. Hopefully it is exactly where I want it, but we can always adjust it if needed. First one is done. Love, love, love that. Now we are ready for the second one. guys the art is all up minus the middle print that i still have to receive but it is looking so good in here it is now dark out so i'm sorry that the lighting is so terrible but i hope you can get the picture i'll give you another view over here this is what we've got going on so far and i'm absolutely loving it I think once we have that pendant light hanging, it's gonna look so good, but I'm not sure that I'm gonna tackle that today because I don't have a proper ladder. So for right now, the next change that I think I wanna make is to switch out this switch cover. So I got this new switch cover from Amazon. I'm not sure if it's gonna look okay, but if it doesn't end up working out, we could always switch it back. So here's what it looks like. It is gold, as you can see, and I thought it would just complement these pictures so nicely and make it look a bit more upscale in here. So let's try it out. Unfortunately, this is not gonna work because as you can see down here, there's like a pretty big hole and it just doesn't look good, I think, when I add the smaller switch cover. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I just got up close so you can see better and that just doesn't look good. I also am not sure I like the gold with the white anyway, so these are gonna get returned and we are going back to the standard white. All right, you guys, I've gotten a second wind and decided I am gonna try to hang the pendant light. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my little step ladder, which I don't think is tall enough, but maybe throw on some platform shoes with it or something to see if I can get up there. And if not, then we will have to save it for another day, but it's worth a shot. joke i made a hole in my ceiling just to discover that it's also metal plated you can't really see but i can't go any further than i have and i cannot fit this anchor in it so i think the pendant light is not going to work all right you guys it's only a few days later and look what's come in Decenio is honestly so quick with their shipping, so I'm getting ready to open up my new poster and then I can replace the large print that I currently have in my dining room. So here's what it looks like. It's incredibly beautiful and it's matted just like the rest of the prints, aside from this middle one, which is like a different color altogether. But I think this will go with the other ones so much better, so I'm really excited to get it up. And here is what the gallery looks like with my new print. I'm absolutely in love with how it turned out. I just think it ties it all together, right? Like the colors, everything goes together now. And I like that it's matted just like the other prints. So I feel like the dining room is looking so much better already. And this wall truly did make such a difference in my apartment.
Hey you guys, the weekend is finally here. It is Saturday, which is why I'm all done up. I have really exciting plans today, so I figured I would take you along with me. And as you can probably hear in my voice, I am a little congested, but I've taken like four COVID tests. Each time it's come back negative, so I think it's just a little congestion. You know, it's been cold outside, the weather's been a little off. So I'm trekking through, I mostly feel okay, but I am so excited for today. It's gonna be a lot of different activities that me and my friends are doing, so I will definitely keep you posted and keep the camera rolling. But I'll go ahead and show you my outfit a little later, maybe when we get to the first place because I wanna make sure that I'm on time. Um, but I have this cute little set on, so I'll definitely show you that later and let's head out. So I'm taking my new Telfar bag with me. Ugh, as you can see, it's still brand new in the packaging, but I cannot wait to use her. <laughs> Okay, first stop is Old Factory. We are gonna be making some perfumes. Yeah, the girlies are ready. <laughs> They've got the little bottles on deck. So we'll see what we come up with. Here is the OOTD. The full set is from Tiger Mist. We've got a nice little cardigan and skirt. The boots are from Aldo. And my telephone. Yes. First yes. Time. yes. yes. A little monochromatic look. Come on, side. That was perfect timing. <laughs> Step is to choose kind of a base scent. I love sandalwood. This might be nice. Ooh, patchouli is good too. We are picking out our base scents. So far, Lulu is a winner for all of us. Lulu is good. I also really like Taylor. Taylor, I put aside, but I did keep Ryan. But you said you don't like the I don't like Ryan anymore. I don't know. So you gotta get multiple scents. You gotta try them all. Yeah. yeah. And then you'll know. It's hard to tell though. It'll speak to you when it's the right one. <laughs> we have a winner. If you're here and you decide on a base scent, definitely smell this one because this was the one that we all agreed on. And this is the one that I'm starting with, the Lulu. All you have to do throughout this process is figure out what you like and what you don't like. Some people do yes, no, maybe piles. Some people do ranking systems, whichever works best for you. Once we go through all nine or 12 for you, you get to pick between two and four to put on your skin for the skin test. And then from there, you'll pick your favorite two bottles. Mm -hmm. So good. Are we all loving it? <laughs> oh, cashmere, you say? Yes. Whenever you're ready, your next Lulu is very rich and resinous and sweet. It has lots of a bar with a chai. Ooh, I love chai. We are having brunch at Dante. It's so cute. Love it. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Let's see. We got a little burrata happening here. Yummy, yummy. Okay.
Okay, so brunch was really cute. We ended up going to Cafe Dante, but we suggest that you go to the Dante in the West Village. We went to the one in Greenwich Village and the selection was a bit smaller and the scenery wasn't as, it just wasn't the same experience. So definitely go to the one in the West Village. We got The night is young. As you can see, we are celebrating my friend's 30th, so it's a big deal and we are making good use of our day. So we have made plans for the entire day. We are getting ready for dinner. Everyone just went home to change. We are getting ready to go to this place called Gallo Green, which I believe is a rooftop, but it has like this garden atmosphere. It's so beautiful. It's been on my list of places to go for such a long time, like months but anyway i will go ahead and show you guys my outfit and then we will head out the door okay so i'm wearing this dress it's like this midi dress with a tie at the waist this dress i've had for many years now so i don't know where it's from and then i have these boots which are from lulu's last year so we've got a nice little like wintry look going on and then i'm gonna go ahead and wear the same bag to give it like a nice neutral look oh you guys i have my perfume here too they put it in this nice little box. It's so pretty. I picked the red color for the bottle and the black top. So, so pretty. I love it. Green? Yes, we are. Is this your show tonight or just for dinner? Oh, we've got a magic show. Oh, yeah. guys, our friend Bea, all the way from LA, sent us two bottles of Prosecco, so sweet. So that's what we're drinking. We got some apps and we dug in because we were hungry, you guys. And we cannot wait for dinner. Dinner was so good, we are super full, and now we are getting ready to do a comedy show at the Comedy Cellar. I'll show you. <laughs> Let's see if we can get in. Okay, we made it! We're going in. So excited. Unfortunately, there are no phones inside, so this is where I will leave you guys. And it is now the next day. Happy Sunday. Yesterday was so much fun, despite me not feeling my best. I'm glad I was able to hang out with friends. I am on antibiotics now, so hoping to feel better very soon. I know I couldn't do much filming last night. That's usually the case when I'm with people or with friends or family, but even at the comedy cellar, they like take your phone and I'm so not used to not having my phone with me and like even just checking the time, I was just so disoriented. But anyway, it was so much fun. We had a lot of laughs and I highly recommend you do the Comedy Cellar if you can. It's only $25 entrance fee and then you have to pay for two items there. It could be food, it could be drink, it could be anything. So it's definitely worth it. It was really fun and it's a good experience to have while in New York. Anyway, today is a new day. We are getting ready to leave actually. So you all know my beloved dresser my DIY project, the thing that I worked so hard on and that I almost ruined my floors for, I am getting rid of it. I know it's <laughs> a little bit of a surprise because it took me a long time to kind of work on it and I did put a lot of time and effort into it and I'm very happy with the result. However, I think um, when I first did it, I did kind of share with you guys that it had like this big toxic smell to it because of the stain that I used. And I did some research at the time and it said online that it takes about seven days to kind of get rid of that smell. So I left the windows open, I was doing all the things and I feel like eventually it did kind of go away or at least I feel like I might've gotten used to the smell. But now that it's, getting colder outside and I'm kind of 
accessing those drawers more i'm pulling it open and closed a lot more i feel like i've started to smell that those like fumes again and it's been really hard for me to sleep at night because i'm just like smelling that really horrid smell and I feel like it's part of the reason I'm congested even today. Like I wake up and my throat hurts. I wake up and my nose is stuffy. And then throughout the day, I feel fine. But it's like when I'm in my room with the door closed, it's not good. So I've decided just to get rid of this dresser as much as like it was cost effective at the time, it did the job. I just can't deal with this anymore. And my health is a lot more important than a dresser. So, I went on Facebook Marketplace and I ended up finding this West Elm dresser that matches perfectly with my nightstand. Now, I'm not a huge fan of bedroom sets and like matchy matchy things in the bedroom, but I figured I can't go wrong with it because I know I like the style. I know it'll go with the furniture that's already in my bedroom and it's a quality sturdy piece that I don't have to worry about. So I'm going to pick it up today. It is being sold for a lot less than what I would pay for on the West Elm website. So. It's definitely a steal, it's definitely worth it. I'm gonna go head over, my mom's gonna meet me there with the car. She's so helpful and I couldn't be more grateful for that. But yeah, I've gotta move this dresser out. As you can see, I literally put <laughs> baking soda on here because recently I was trying to figure out other ways that I could control the scent and they said baking soda, charcoal. They also suggested filling a bowl with vinegar, which I also did and the vinegar kind of just soaked into the bowl and the scent is still lingering. So I've done all that I could. I do love this dresser. I'm very sad to see it go, but it's time. the space has been cleared out we are ready for our new dresser i just moved the dresser right here in the hall for now because i really don't know what i'm doing with it and i still have my clothes in there i'll have to transfer them when i get the new one but then i also picked up the rug from the kitchen floor just to make it easier for when the new dresser gets in here all right we got the dresser into the car this was unbelievably heavy and we are getting ready to unload it i'm so excited <laughs> it's gonna go perfectly with the nightstand Okay, now that she's all cleaned, I can finally transfer all of my clothing. I'm really excited to see how much more storage I get since this is a lot taller than my last drawer, so we will see. Alrighty, all of the clothes from the other drawer are in and I still have so much room. I'll go ahead and show you. This top drawer is completely empty and the one on the bottom also. So I have a lot of room to grow in here. I'm so excited. All right, you guys, I'm beat. So I think I'm gonna end off the vlog there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm actually kind of loving my floor without this carpet. So I might just leave it like that. I don't know, we'll see. It's nice to have some open space. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.